Knowing how to record your MIDI keyboard can help you get better and more natural sounding melodies. It can also help you speed up your workflow, helping you make beats even faster. That's pretty important to know, right? And the best part is it's easy and simple to do. Let me show you how it's done right now. First thing you wanna do is click up here on the record button. When this pops up, you have a few options. The option you want to pick is notes and automation. This makes it so that when you record, it's going to be recording notes and automation into the playlist. At this point, you wanna select the pattern that you're gonna use. So let's create a new pattern and we'll select the instrument that we're gonna use. And then you wanna turn off any looping. The reason why you wanna turn off the loop is because, let's also make sure that we solo this one thing so everything else doesn't play. The reason why you wanna turn off the loop is because if you have a loop set, when your recording hits that barrier, it's gonna go back to the beginning and loop back around and continue recording, which will end up with you having loads of notes stacked on top of each other, which just isn't helpful. However, if you don't have any loops set, then what you can do is you can just play along, find something that you like, and then maybe if you had something interesting around you know, the 30th bar or what have you, you can delete everything else and just use that. So definitely turn off looping, it's gonna help you out a lot. Then when you actually wanna record, all you need to do is hit the play button. So now it's recording, we can get some stuff in here. Okay, so we have just recorded this. As you can see, started a little late, but if we bring this in there, we go to here, we can come in here and we can quantize everything. So we can go over here, quick quantize, and we can move stuff over so we can clean it all up. Then here we go, we've got a chord progression. But I've also got my keyboard to set at a certain velocity so things can't go lower than that. So it does dehumanize things a little bit. It won't do that for you if you haven't got that set up. But that's basically how it's done. Very, very easy, very, very straightforward, right? But there's always more to learn. If you wanna learn how to create your own trap beats from scratch, you can use my easy nine step trap beat making formula found in my free music production course. Link to join that is down below in the description or go to jcarteray.com forward slash free trap course. That course will take you from making your melody all the way to mastering your beat and it's absolutely free. So you've got nothing to lose except for the opportunity to join this course while it's still free and available because it won't be free and available forever. So definitely join this when you see this as soon as possible. If you've got any questions or any other videos you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to check out that video next and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.